Hi guys, back again with a quick tutorial for you. Um, this is um, what I've been up to. Um, I've been making some envelope tags. So um, they're just shaped as a, as a tag um, and they've got like a little pocket in them. So it's just like you open them up like a little envelope so you can pop your little bits and pieces in. So you can pop all your little bits of ephemera or some little notes or a little bit of journaling on there. And what I've done, I've just on this one, I've just attached a piece of ribbon. This one's been decoupaged, look at a beautiful um, napkin there. Um, so I've just de decoupaged with some tea stained paper um, with a beautiful napkin there, which is lovely. Um, attached a piece of lace and then that's, this um, lace is just used for the closure. So I've just tied it into a little bow. So there we go, so it looks really pretty. It's very simple, very quick. Um, and here's another one. This is a bigger one. So same again, um, I've added a little pocket on the back of this one, so it's a little lace pocket and I've just stamped on some tea stain paper um, and on the front you open it up, the little closures at the string this time, um, open it up and then we go, it's a little pocket, this one I've just sewn all around it, added a little flower here just to hide the piece of string um, and then you just close it up, tie it up. Um, and I thought they were just really pretty, so it's something a little bit different um, to pop into your journal, so you can pop anything in there and if you want to pop a little bit of money and hang it on a gift bag which would be quite nice, wouldn't it? This one I did make, I made it out of card no, I didn't actually, I made it out of um, a toilet roll tube which I've here, I've actually flattened out um, I've got a couple of projects that I'm going to show you with, with those um, but I found it hard, a bit too hard for these. Um, it's great if you just wanted to do a tag or something with a pocket, but lifting it up, it sort of is a bit heavy, a bit hard. So I find it easier and nicer just to to have the, the tea stain paper on them. Um, although that one is really pretty, um, I do find it a little bit. This is a bit thick and heavy to keep lifting up. Um, so there we go. So I'm going to show you how I make these. So there we go, let's pop those out of the way. So I've started off with, right, I've got two sizes, okay? Um, obviously you can make them whatever size you like, so I'm just gonna show you the basics of how I make them. Um, the bigger one, I actually just folded an A4 sheet um, in half. So that gives you the, the width. So that's the width, okay? So if you wanted to do a big one, that's the width you do it. If you wanted to do one this size, I've just sort of like brought it down just a little bit like that. So you just fold that down and then just cut off the excess bit. So you can do them whatever size. So I found the A4, um, the length, which is 11 inches, 11 and a half inches, um, to be really good. So I'm going to do um, a bigger one. All right. So what I do. I just fold this in half, long ways, like that. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to glue it down because we want it the thickness. We want it double size, double size. We want it the double of the thickness. I mean, so if we just glue this down with a good old glue stick. You can either decoupage, well you can you can use any paper obviously, you can use um, some scrapbook paper or whatever papers you have. Um, I just thought I'd use tea stain paper because then we can just embellish it however we like. So I have got whole lots of little bits and pieces so I'm just going to stick some bits and pieces on this one. And I've actually made some little dingly danglies. So I thought what I might do is actually pop a little hole in this bit here and have a dingle dangle hanging from it well that's the idea anyway so let's have a go so what so now we've got that folded and stuck down what we do whoops i'm going to lift up the bottom okay so we need to sort of make the pocket we don't want to make it too big 
fold that piece over. And then I want to fold this piece down. So it's exactly the same as making um, the envelopes we did in the last tutorial. So if I do that to say here like that. Okay, perfect. Because what we want to do, we want to bend this then. I need to bend this up. So I want another little ridge across here, like so. So we just want a little line across there, because that's the piece we're going to stick down. So that's the piece that's going to be the flap. Um, so that's reasonably straight, I think. There we go. Oops. So that's the flap, so it just lifts up and down. Right now, that's it. So now we just need to decorate it. So it's not too dissimilar from the envelopes we did before. Whoops. Um, but I think just to just to have like a little um, tag to pop some bits and pieces in is quite nice to pop in your journal or on the front of your journal or as a little gift for somebody. They're nice little. Um, gifts to send people and um, with a little note inside so again we're just going to distress it um, like so Oops. so again you can just um, decorate it and however you've you've decorated your journal if you have an idea um, use some of the papers that you're using at the moment I'm doing a really nice journal with Artie May's Butterfly Dreams, not Butterfly, Dragonfly Dreams. Um, the papers are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm having fun doing that one. So again, okay, let's do a little bit inside. must do something with gesso soon. I must do a tutorial with using gesso because I haven't used it for a long time. So I need to find something I can do with that. So I do like using gesso. Okay, so that's all done. So now what I need to do is now you can either, I do sew these as well, but you don't have to um, because this needs to be glued down. But before I glue it down, you need to sew around it. So what I need to do, I need to cut the little triangles here. Let me put on my great big scissors. So from the ends here, just cut them off. And what I do, I just pop that on that side, the bit that I've cut off so it's even. I know some of you have little templates that you can use, but I just do it like that. So there we go, so we've got the um, tag shape like that, just ink the edges, perfect, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly um, sew around the edges, so I'm going to sew along this bit here, um, and then I'm going to sew along, the next bit I sew is down around here, separately, and then what I do, I pop it back together again, and sew up here and then up here and then I do this bit so I just sew around this bit so you have to do different bits it's not all one big um, go on the machine so you just have to do well let me say that again you go along this bit here which is the front bit and then I sew along the front bit here the flap along this edge bit and then I sew up either side to make it into the pocket and then that closes down and I actually glue this down this little flap here I glue down because here this is the this is the bit which I sew um, but I do actually glue it down to make it sturdier there and then I just sew around the edge that little bit there so two minutes and I will just quickly sew this Okie dokie, so there we go. So this is the um, 
um, envelope tag sewn. So there we go. So I've just sewed the, the, this little bit at the top to make the, the tag shape around this bit, along that bit, and then down either side. So now we have the little pocket. So all we have to do now is decorate it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the little hole at the top for the tag. Um, let's have a look where it's the middle. There we go. So that's a little hole. So you can hang that from from the book. You don't have to make a hole actually. You could actually just clip it on with like a, like a little paper clip or something um, into your journal, or you could just pop it in, pop it in the pocket pop it inside in another pocket so let's decorate so I've got all these lovely little bits and pieces here um, to pop on it so what's this one or maybe I'll just uncover a little bit I quite like um, using a stamp on the background because um, I don't like things too plain but I don't like them too fussy so if you know what I mean. So I just like something little, um, just to give it a little extra on the back. Let's have a look. There we go. I haven't used this stamp for a while, so it's quite nice because I like I like the stamps which have just got little random bits on. Because um, there's lots and lots of little bits that you can use then. And everything will always look sort of different. Let's have a bit at the top there. Okay, perfect. Move it on. Okay, I like using the stays on um, because obviously it doesn't. It's when you ink it up as well and you put glue on it, it's not going to smudge. So that's why I like using that. So let's have a look. What should we put on here? So this is pretty, isn't it? So we could do some little edging. Let's have some bits on here first. Okay. So these fabrics, these are really nice. These are just um, old clothes. I go to sort of like thrift stores or are in the UK in here, they're like charity shops. Just get my other scissors. Um, I'm trying to look for all the like lacy, lacy clothes and um, little lacy shirts and stuff um, like this because there's so much you can cut out uh, and it's the cheapest, nicest, bestest way to do things, I think, because then you, you tend to find. Um, different fabrics or different patterns so your stuff sort of like um, looks a little different to everybody else's there we go that looks quite nice doesn't it let's have something for the top let's have a little round one and the amount of little embellishments you can just you can get out with one top is amazing See, look, this for this is just really nice. It's not really patterned, so you just have to sort of a few little random cuts, I think, to get something. We just stick them on. What else have we got? Just like using random bits, so I'm going to start sticking now. I'm nearly, nearly out of my glue. I've only got to wait till Thursday for some more, so not too long now. So hopefully, I will have enough just to finish this tutorial with a bit of luck. Again, you can always sew these on before you sew you up all up together. I try not to think about where I'm sticking things um, because you can um, 
sort of confuse yourself or it takes ages. Um, I've done that before where you think, oh, should I pop it there, should I pop it here? But I think the first time, or well, the first place you put it is normally the best because um, you can spend hours and hours. And if you're indecisive, it's even worse, isn't it? So I just stick. Stick it down and it always looks good in the end. And I need to keep this upside down. Okay. There's bits out of the way. Which is pretty. I can't remember where I got this from. Probably a good piece of cross here. I think, oh, I'm going to put a hole in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a hole in there, aren't I? Pop a little hole. This is a smaller hole punch than that one. That's it. What I did on these little jingly danglies, um, I've got a piece of wire, which is the florist wire that I use. I don't actually have it to hold the bit which is the florist wire, I'm not sure what gauge it is and then I've just um, popped some beads on little dangly at the bottom and a bulb clip so let's just see if that's too big or not so look, I think that looks really nice that actually all goes with the, with the right colours doesn't it so we should be popping that on there I think Or we have this one. Oh, I quite like that one. So I'll pop that one on. So let's just add. Should be able to. Oopsie daisy. What I need. A little bit more glue. See if it's gone very thin. Keep it upside down. Just pop a little bit either side. Like that. Oops. A little bit of glue underneath there. Okay. Well, that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? What else have we got we can pop on here? Let's have a look. Oh, look, I've got some, oops. Oops, it's easy. A couple of little buttons. Oh, I've got some of my little word bits on here. Let's have this. Oh, let's have wish on there, shall we? I like adding um, words onto things. And they're easier. You just print them off on your on your computer, or you can buy them. There's lots of things you can do. Places you can get them. You can get them off um, Google. Just print them off. So you look. It's nice, just popped in there, a bit of glue stick. Perfect. So, what else shall we have? Oh, look, I've got half a little flower there. It's quite nice, doesn't it? Quick. 
Go there and look. And then what can we have? What little tie can we put on there? Let's have a look. It gives a little bit of this, wouldn't it? Just chop the little ends off so it looks nice. Fold it in half. So we won't need a closure on this because once you've hang this down, the weight of it will keep it closed. Um, so if you pop bits and pieces in there. So let's put, pop something on the back. What shall we have on the back? Let's have a little bit of this. It's just like doing your decorating your envelopes. Um, just put some little random bits of fabric everywhere. So this is a good way as well to using up all your little bits and pieces. There we go. I need something a little pink. Oh look. There's a bit of um, like velvet on there. It's quite nice, isn't it? Take a few little struggly bits off. Make it look a little bit tidier. Okay. A bit more glue. Oh gosh. It's got very messy. Look. What a mess I'm making. Stick that on there, look. Because it's upside down, there's not much, it's just oozing itself out. What a mess I've made. And I don't want to waste it. I don't have much left, so let's pop that along. Oops. Along the bottom. Like so. Oh, look, how pretty is that? Oops. So you could also pop, you could also make a little little letter or something to put in there with the, with the same sort of embellishments on there. Sorry, I'm covered in glue again now. So there we are guys, how quick and easy was that? Let's pop this on here before I forget. Just dangles off. There we are. Oopsie lazy. So these are lovely. These are nice to just go into your journals or as a gift, like I say, with something in it. Um, if you've got your journals and you've got the front pocket, that's nice to go into the front pocket um, to keep um, little bits of paper in it. So there we are, guys. That's a quick tutorial. I've got nice and gluey and sticky by doing that. Um, next video I'm going to show you um, a few bits and pieces that I've been making with these. I've just flattened out some toilet roll tubes here. Um, and so if you've got any, if you're collecting them or collect them, because I'll do that on the next video, what I did, just cut them open. I don't have a spare one here. Just cut them open um, and then what I did, I just spritz it with a little bit of water and then they just go flat. And then I put them in a big pile when they were damp, put a book on top and they just go flat. So then you've got lots and lots of bits of card. So if you make some of those, I will show you what you can do with them in our next video. So, Okay, well I hope you like this one. Um, and there was another quick one, very similar to the last um, envelope one. But I thought it looked quite nice just to have like it looking like a tag. So... There we go, guys. All right. Thank you so much for joining me again. And I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.